Welcome to our story map of Connecticut's changing landscape. Let's get right on over to our little corner of the world here. Here's the great state of Connecticut, and those white lines are dividing the state into 169 separate municipalities, all which have most of the power to decide the landscape in their jurisdictions. We have a varied landscape. Let's take a really quick tour of our four main types. We've got forested areas, of course. We've got agricultural areas. We've got turf and grass, so lawn surrounding uh, homes and golf courses, ballparks, etc. And of course, we've got developed areas, so commercial strips, roadways, residential areas. Now, as your eyes go through this, they can pick out a lot of detail, and they're very high resolution images, and we're used to looking at those in our cars and on our phones. But there's one thing your eyes can't do very well, and that's quantify it. And those of us who want to know how the landscape is changing and when, uh, need to be able to quantify it, so we turn that imagery into a land cover map, which simply takes the image and then classifies it depending on what kind of landscape it is. So, for instance, we can click on the town of Middlefield, Middletown, excuse me, and see that it's 46% forested, but if we cross the river to its neighbor of East Hampton, you can see it's very different, it's 76% forested. So as we zoom in a little bit on our land cover and you can see the pixels, you won't be able to see your house on these images, but you will be able to quantify them to be able to look at the numbers, play with them, and see what's going on with our landscape in Connecticut. So we hope you enjoy it.